A few months ago, I realized that the charger for my Lenovo laptop wasn't working properly. I wanted to figure out if this was a common problem, so I googled it. Sure enough, there were lots of results related to Lenovo laptop chargers malfunctioning, so I assumed it was a very common problem. This is an example of what we call the confirmation bias. Wikipedia's definition of the confirmation bias is the tendency to search for, interpret, favor, and recall information in a way that confirms one's beliefs or hypotheses. This can lead to inaccurate results because the results of your search are extremely biased. For example, I could have searched for the same issue with a different laptop brand and probably would have gotten very similar results, even if the two chargers are of very different qualities. This bias can occur in many, many situations in real life, oftentimes without us even realizing it. For example, consider a debate during a presidential election in the United States. There is a Republican candidate and a Democratic one. Let's say two people, one Democrat and one Republican, watch the same debate, but afterwards have different opinions on which candidate performed better. The Republican viewer thought the Republican candidate did better, and the Democratic viewer thought the Democrat won. This is another example of confirmation bias at work. In this case, the viewers are affected by confirmation bias in interpreting the information they receive. Essentially, the confirmation bias can be broken down into three stages or parts. First, there is the biased search for information. Secondly, there is the biased interpretation of those search results. Finally, this usually results in that person having a biased memory when it comes to that topic or event. For example, say that you have a lucky shirt. You wear it when you have an exam at school, for instance, because you believe it helps you do better on the test. Looking back, you'll tend to mostly remember moments when you had good luck while wearing the shirt, and you'll forget or ignore the times when the shirt didn't help you. Confirmation bias is something everyone experiences, and it will be important to our further discussion of randomness later on in the course. I hope this video served as a quick introduction to a very important concept. For practice, I suggest writing down examples of this bias that you have personally seen or experienced. You'll realize just how common it is. Thank you for watching.